What's going on, guys? This is Mr. Privich here once again, bringing you a little bit more word investigation. We're going to take a look today at compound words. This is not your first experience with compound words. You've done this before in first grade, second grade, third grade. But a compound word to review is when you put two words together, when two words are com combined into a new word. And typically, when we have a compound word, both words hold their meaning, which means that the meaning of the new word is basically made up of the meaning of the two original words. Let's take a look at some basic examples here. You guys know snowman is made up of two words, snow and man, and the definition then is a man made this out of snow. Baseball are made up of two words, base and ball, and that is a ball game using bases. That's what we call those things that we run around. And then we have uh, goldfish here, of course. Goldfish is a fish that's... Uh, oh boy. Well, I don't have a gold marker, so let's go with a purple fish. A purple fish is a fish that is purple. So there you go. There's a look at some basic compound words. Now, most of the compound words that you guys are coming across right now in your reading and in our discussions are a little bit more complex, and they require something that we call inferring or thinking a little bit beyond what is there in front of us. So we can't just rely on the two words and those definitions, we have to do a little bit more thought work. Let's take a look at some examples here. Our first one here is my brother has a desktop computer. We don't hear this too much, but they do exist, a desktop computer. Desktop here is our compound word made up of two words, desk and top. So originally we might look at this word and think that uh, desktop is the top of the desk, and it kind of is, but what a desktop actually means, a little bit more accurate definition of this word is some sort of device that sits on a desk or a surface or something that stays on a surface. It stays on the desktop. So it's not actually just the top of the desk. Uh, you might be more familiar with this word, a little variation of our desktop here, laptop. Now a laptop is not the top of your lap and while you can't put a laptop computer on your lap, it more means something that might fit on your lap. So a better definition of a laptop computer or a laptop device is something that can be moved or that you can carry around with you. So that is just one example here of a bit more of a complex compound word. Let's take a look at another sentence here. I am going to undertake in a huge school project. I'm going to undertake in a huge school project. So undertake does not mean that you're going to take something underground. Uh, you're not going to be like a little troll here and hide your treasure in a cave. Undertake, what it really actually means is to, to take on or to begin something or to start a brand new challenge. So when we say that you're going to undertake, you're about to undertake in a new, uh, huge school project, it means that you're about to start this big school project. Our third sentence here, I have to wear my waterproof coat. Proof is a word that we use to mean free of or not having. So waterproof, the literal definition, means free of water. And that is not quite an accurate definition of what a waterproof coat is. Waterproof, the more accurate definition, is to stop water from entering in. So as you can see, not all compound words that you're coming across right now are as simple and straightforward. Here's a really uh, good sentence. We've got two compound words in it. Consider yourself lucky you didn't have to be on the lookout for bullies. Consider yourself lucky you didn't have to be on the lookout for bullies. There's two compound words in here. Can you find them? Well, here we go. we got yourself and we've got lookout. We'll start here with our second compound word, lookout. So it doesn't mean that you're looking out at something. Lookout is more kind of spying or looking ahead or watching out for. So that is a better definition of the word lookout. And our other compound word here, yourself, is a really tricky one to define. It basically means that you're addressing you or you are talking about yourself personally or you personally. So as you can see, compound words are all around us. You're going to see them all the time. You're going to hear them all the time. So dig a little deeper, think a little harder, and stay curious, guys. Great work today.